Hello everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. And uh We got ourselves another stream. I feel like I'm missing something from the top part of the screen, but whatever. So small little housekeeping update before we get started while well, I guess while this demo plays. Uh sorry for canceling the last week's stream. Uh I ended up getting COVID for the first time in three years. Crazy how that works. But, uh, didn't kill me, so there's cheers to that. I'm still not like 100% better, but I got most of my voice back, and like I feel alright enough to stream, so there's that. The chat kinda sucks. Do not recommend uh, getting it. But on the other side, while, uh, we did end up getting COVID. I was able to do something productive, which let me switch to my uh, other camera. Hold up. Boom, look at this. We got ourselves a game wall, finally. We have stuff on the wall. That's right. I put most of my game collection, really just PS1, 2, and 3 up there for the most part, uh, up on that wall back there. So now we actually have stuff. There you go. Let's switch back. I feel like I'm forgetting something up top here, but I don't remember. I accidentally deleted the alert box, so I can't bring that back immediately. But, uh, that's fine. So if someone donates to me, let me know, and then I'll have to bring back the alert, because I forgot to, uh, to add it. But yeah, you can keep gaming. Alright, let me see if I get the microphone out of the way a bit. I know this is tricky. Keep it moving over here. Without pitching the microphone. Yeah, screw it, we'll leave it right here. That should be fine. So hopefully the audio is good. I did take some time to find out about the internet, which I told you guys on Discord, but if you missed it, uh, I found out my internet's on a cluster. And what that means is, uh, basically if enough people in my block are on the internet at the same time, it goes down, which is what was happening. So, this is, I thought this would not be a peak time, but I guess people are awake early in the weekend, so, there's that. Let's do this Ferrari vs. Ford showdown. I mean, give me a Ferrari, I'm gonna drive it. So let's do it. How you guys all doing? Oh money F8 Weekly, good to see y'all again. And I'm back. Let's bring back the timer. This is what, a four race tournament? Should be a, just a world race. It's been a while. Am I back to normal? Not a hundred percent. I'd say like 90 or 95 percent back to normal. Um, like, I can, uh, you know, talk for the most part. My voice is pretty much back. You know, I stopped, uh, coughing. My throat's not sore, my fever's gone, you know, I have my taste and smell and all that stuff. I'm not 100%, I found if I move, like, around way too fast, my head could start hurting, and then, uh, I can't really shout. So, it's weird. This virus works in weird ways. Technically, still positive. I tested on Thursday just to see, and uh, it came up positive. But thankfully, I live alone, so not a huge deal. 
that's the epic. Oop, it's straight to a tree. We're in a very windy route. I don't even know if this is a proper shortcut or not. We end up in last place though. This is a three lap race by the way, so like, like 12 laps of stuff. I need to get this past done so I can take the shortcut. Most of the AI took the shortcut, that's weird. Let me know if the picture quality is okay. I forgot a lot of the uh, settings in the last couple weeks. Get that slime going. Corvette becoming an SUV brand. Is that what you meant? Sub brand? Like a Genesis style? I did see that. I don't, uh, well, let me rephrase that. I do know how to feel. I don't want to warn out from my arrest, though, if I tell you exactly how I feel. That should tell you everything. It's a, uh, a disgrace. They see what's happening to, like, the Mustang's reputation. They're like, yeah, we want to do that, too. With the most iconic car in American history. No one's gonna buy a Corvette to be like, look at me, I'm driving a Corvette. The wrong people are gonna get out of that. It's gonna defeat the purpose of having the, or just driving the Corvette. It's supposed to be a sports car. I'm pretty good fight here for P1. Oh, did I land it? I don't think I did. Nope. It makes sense to make a... Like, a line of Corvettes. It just makes me feel like the same way I did about the Mustang Mach-E, you know? When you think of Mustang, you're supposed to think, you know, fast back, low to the ground. You know, that slick, long look. Not an SUV. The Lexus, Infiniti, Acura are just luxury car brands. Even like the new Genesis brand. But the Corvette is a iconic American sports car that's been around for like 60 years. Longer than that, actually. And, uh, the whole point, the whole time, I never changed it, was it's supposed to be the American sports car. And even all the way back to, like, the C1 Corvette, it's had the same thesis of, you know, the smooth front, you know, sleek design, affordable, fast. Yeah, it's because, like, the buyers, they want to say, look at me, I'm driving a Corvette, while also buying their generic SUV that looks the same. Like, I swear, every single SUV pretty much looks the same. It's kind of dystopian. That is true, the dealership ex uh, experience is different. There's a lot of like ways to just buy a car through an app or 
without, you know, trying to haggle. In the market for a Kia Stinger. I have not heard about the Kia Stinger. Can you share? Uh, the only thing I know about Kias in 2022 is that they get stolen a lot. Um, but about the Stinger specifically? No, I don't uh, know what's going on. Oh, shit. Save it. This Black 360 has still been in the fight with people. In It's a new lap record! I, think I missed it. Oh no, I got it. Nice. You have to go through a bunch of hurdles just to get a test drive. You can't just like schedule one. That's stupid. I can run test drive in Audi RS5. I could just do that on, uh, you know, CarMax or something. That 24 hour test track. to like have enough money in hand just to test drive but that's so stupid. Like they just make things harder to achieve now. It's just crazy. The American dream. Trying to get yourself out of a hole and be successful, but then by the time you actually work to get to that point. The bar's been raised so high that you're back to square one, basically. Ah, screw it, we're taking the long way. Not enough sales. Well, also, new cars are pretty expensive, so again, having the buyer, you know, who's probably gonna finance it, you have to give them, you know, the option. You can't hold it back. Kia still, like, is new to the whole sports car game, so bringing that stinger in, people are interested, but you gotta, like, push it around. You gotta make people want to have it. We are under half a second for getting past final corner. Or you yeah. You win! Alright. You're the tournament leader! That was a long race. There's four of these, and this game takes forever in this part. I didn't think it would slug that much. Hmm, Gothi. Is this Palm City Island?
I love how the driver is like stretching himself there. That's such a small detail that they decided to throw in. faster by like 10 seconds, that is crazy. Here comes the rubber banding. Like people want to be seen like doing exclusive stuff when they buy premium cars, that what you mean? Somehow my 10 second gap like completely evaporated. Buying cars is frustrating at this time. Yeah, I'm not a luxury car buyer, a luxury car buyer either, so uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Like, I would think that maybe someone who is in the market for like a Mercedes and stuff then wants to like live out their test drive on limited fantasy and like, you know, take their million bucks. Financing the BMW, I don't know. Just a guess. They want to be treated like royalty. Yeah, Porsche. I've always heard like good things. Even they did those commercials where like they let kids sit in the cars and then 20 years later they go to buy their first Porsche. Dealer remembers them. I know that's just an advertising campaign, but Porsche really is, you know, welcoming. And you know, they're one of the biggest brands because they do, even though the cars are really expensive, and buying a new Porsche especially is difficult. They do like their customers and want their customers to experience their cars. They're just happy for you to be there. In the museum, they let people drive vehicles. That's so cool. I want to go to the Porsche Museum. Sounds like a fun time. Oh, I missed it. Every noise takes the longer out there. Oh yeah, didn't uh, Need for Speed Unbound uh, come out fully now? It's like fully out. I hear that it's pretty good. I hear that the game is like uh, Need for Speed Heat, but it is fun. There's some small section of nitpicks, but I mean, it's Need for Speed, and so it's gonna have nitpicks. But I heard the consensus and just from reviews that it was a decent game, a good game. Which is good to hear. I will get it. Just like how I got here. I'll wait for it to get it to a better price though. So I'm in no rush to buy a brand new game. I'm 
stuff to play uh, God of War Ragnarok, and uh, while I had COVID, I uh, started the Metal Gear Solid series, and I already beat the first game, working the second one. It's a long series, though. That's kind of been my attention before I start buying just brand new games. Yeah, I'll see if they actually support it. It's a EA challenge, sadly. I did like peek at a couple live streams. I didn't want to spoil myself too much, but like, I will say being from Chicago, I was pretty happy with how they did the map. I only saw a few minutes of the stream, but you know, I was pretty happy with what I saw, so I can't wait to play it, you know? That'll be fun. Yeah, heat was like that. You're not really interested? I will admit that the only reason I am, like, super interested is it's because it's in Chicago. If it was in, like, some other generic map, I'd do what I did with Heat and wait, like, two years before I play it. I literally got Heat for, like, $10 out of this game start, and that's why I decided to, you know, play it. It was because I forgot about that game and then saw it for $10, and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta play that. The game probably dropped 30 or $20, though. Is the 360 successor to the 355? Yes, it is. They are both the uh, mid-engine V8 Ferrari of the Sarah. And I'm planning on doing a live stream on that. I mean, when I get it, yeah, but that's uh, when I get it. Ah, uh, I think I missed it again. Oh, never mind. Oh, I got rammed by the AI. Is he gonna try to take the shortcut? Shh. Ram me off. Wow. Advanced AI. The review's pretty bad. I thought I had a Metacritic score of like 80 and the user score was like 7.9. That's not bad. And on social media, people have said it's pretty good. The reviews are decent. It's also like the reason like this you know the map is like good is because Chicago isn't really done in many video games. It was done in Watch Dogs. And then, you know, sometimes it's been done in a racing game. Like I remember it was in Pro Street, but Airstrip, right. And then it's been in Great a couple times, but uh You know, something like New York or Los Angeles or even other obscure uh, cities, well not obscure, but like other medium cities have been done in many open world games, but Chicago hasn't really been done. Chicago is a really like interesting environment to do a game for because there's like everything here. You got city, you got back roads, you got country, you got rural areas, you got beautiful landscapes actually. You got the lake. There's a lot you can do with uh, the Chicago area. So, happy that Need for Speed's done it, finally. I never played Payback still, so I still have to experience the map. In terms of like a city, Ish place. I, I like the most one in 2012's map. I like Fairhaven. Honestly. Oh my god, this yellow Ferrari is so aggressive. It's literally the clear. His name is Dom. Toronto. The design of this car, yes, is very different from the 355. They went more round. And you know, with these like... I don't want to say circular, but like, you know, these 
round kicks, the round headlights, the round sides. They turned this car from like basically the 80s and 90s philosophy that the, like the 355 had, which is like derivative of the Testarossa, which that of itself is like derivative of like what, the 308. This is kind of totally different. I mean, it's still a mid-engine V8 Ferrari. Horsepower is similar to the 355, you know, the driving experience, but they did try to, like, modernize the car. And you can see that, too, when looking at something like the, the 550, going to the 599. Oh, yellow's catching up. 0.28 seconds. He couldn't pass that. Fries are just bossing them this thing here. Like, even in the point standings. Look at that. They're all in two points. These races are long. Yeah, the Fat Five was like the last Ferrari with pop ups. Because that was a trend that died in the 90s. They are also like kind of dangerous, according to the government. Go through the airport. This airfield. This was all tight. I haven't done this yet in this game, but here's the jump. The plane jump. That was in Need for Speed Heat, wasn't it? In the air, like airfield area, that plane jump that was much higher than that, but it existed. Oh man, giant air! How did pop ups become a trend? Uh, didn't that start in like the uh, the seventies? Even the 60s, I think, actually had pop-ups in some cars, in like European cars. I think like the Lotus Alain had pop-ups. I think, uh, I'm just like bullshitting out of my mouth, but I think designers thought a car that with without headlights looked sleeker in the 60s, so cars were designed around that. And then, you know, since they probably were required to make the headlights available, they have them pop out, which creates its own aesthetic. And, uh, they just never dropped that. And up until the 90s, you know, they started becoming, like, I don't want to say, like, a cultural, cultural icon, but, like, a lot of cars from specifically the 90s, even though it was around for a while, they revolved around pop-up headlights. Think FDRX7, uh, the Corvettes, the C4 and C5, the uh, 355 as mentioned, Toyota Supra, the uh, Toyota 8086, that Corolla, you know, the uh, Nissan uh, you know, 180SX, you know, that kind of stuff. Flip your car's lights up. Oh, I forgot you can flash your lights too. Oh, I went too early. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Whoop. Nice. The tumbleweed slows you down, bro. I drop to fifth. How do I drop to fifth here without not a man of There we go.
ายเป็นเราไปไล่ไปที่สัตว์ทักของเราในรอบสี่Yeah, in real life, these V8 Ferraris sound amazing. 355 especially was like always praised for its sound. I've always loved it. I still aspire to own one one day. It's just becoming increasingly like less likely because the value is shooting up, and uh, you know, just finances, financially wise, uh, you know, I've been dealing with like my house mortgage. And I realized, like, okay, it's gonna be quite a while before I can just buy a Ferrari, <laughs> just for just cuts, you know. Oh man, come on! I missed it. Too early, too late. Hello. Still going. Oh, we hit a tr that tree doesn't go down. Wow. Buy a piece of shit, then try five and get someone to fix it. Well, the issue is getting someone to fix it is gonna be difficult because that car has a ton of potential problems, and if you're buying one that's like already piece of crap, which means probably you know got fire or water damage. I don't know, that would take a lot to get it back in good shape. I mean, yeah, that's like the Tavarish way, right? He always buys a junk to a car. And then turns it into something interesting. Oh, my lift headlight went out. Just so like your car, you know, be kind of reliable, so that you know you aren't breaking down at car meets and stuff like that. Uh, I thought about taking the shortcut, but that's too late. Yeah, there was also a Ferrari F three five five challenge, and uh, I forget if that's road legal. But it's also a beautiful car. A touring car of sorts. The Mustang is in second. Interesting. Yeah, the 360 is one of like the, the less popular V8 Ferraris. It's like in this awkward period where people didn't really like this aesthetic. I loved this car as a kid, but I mean, you know, as the years progress, like yeah, it's not on like my top Ferrari list. 458 and 488 did a much better job at being a V8 Ferrari. You're the tournament leader. We've already clinched the championship here. Huge gap. But of course we're just gonna do the last race just cuz. Yeah, one of your favorite designs. I mean, I love the 360 still, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful car. I've seen this in real life and it's great. But, 
I mean, I can give you an answer because I kind of prefer the, prefer the F430. The F430 just like, just, it just looks nice, you know. I'll give you this. The regular F430, yeah, design is a little flawed. But I've sat in a 430 Scuderia, and that thing is amazing. I love the 430 Scuderia. It is so good. Looks amazing, sounds amazing, its performance is pretty solid. It's got the rarity and the variety of a, you know, final design Ferrari. But it's like basically taking the best of the 430 design and then, you know, making it look just fierce and aggressive. But yeah, the regular F430, yeah, I can see how. Yeah, it looks kind of neutered and basic. I mean, yeah, obviously the F40 is the most popular V8 Ferrari, and the Bulls, you know, best one. But, like, the F40 is not the, uh, you know, it's not the de facto mid-engine Ferrari, you know, model. The F40 was, like, the special one. You know, back in the 80s, that would be, like, the Testarossa and the 512TR was the, uh, the mid-engine V8, the natural V8. The F40 was turbocharged, was it not? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the 488 stopped the trend of it always being a natural V8, and now it's uh, you know a turbo V8. The 488, I still you know love that car. It's just, you know, new age. And now you have stuff like the F8 and the, uh, you know, Beyond. That are gonna be, you know, a match the performance of, like, the high-end previous Ferraris. Like, the F8 has the same horsepower as, like, a 488 Pista, right? And the 488 Pista was supposed to be, like, the ultimate 488. That car is beautiful. Love the 488 Pista. A Haas line of Ferraris? No, please. That's if they become, like, a huge deal. I think I got this one. No? Damn. That was, like, right in the middle. I think your rear wheels have touched the finish line. The Haas F8 should be there. Haas are like doomed to be forever midfielders. We'll see. We'll see if they improve in 2023. They look like they're up for like a solid P7, P8 constructors fight. Which to be fair, that's kind of what they did for at least the first part of the season. But they just put in bad points. So they fell behind Aston Martin, and then were, you know, they were bailed out by Alphatari, also fumbling the season, and then, you know, Williams just not being good. But, like, that period where, like, Alfa Romeo were not scoring points, that could have been, uh, Haas's opportunity to strike for stuff. But not even Aston could catch up, and Aston threw away a ton of points. Haas could have been P6 in the championship. The newer Ferraris don't excite you? I don't know, newer Ferraris are a hit and miss for me. Like, the 296, I don't like. The SP3 Daytona and the 499P? <sighs> Those things are freaking beautiful. I can't wait to see that endurance car next year. That's gonna be so cool. And, uh, that Daytona SP3? Hope it comes to some video games, man, because that car is cool. The Vision GT? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. It looks alright, but it looks too much like a typical. GT. If, you know, it was AI created or like a fan created that design, I would have been like, oh yeah, just a fan design. But that's the actual Ferrari thing. And, uh, 
You know, I'm not, uh... I'm not, like, violently against it, but, you know, I just mean it's like, eh. The rear is weird. Yeah, it's, uh, definitely square. But yeah, stuff like the Ferrari Roma and the 296, and, uh, the newest SUV, not a huge fan of it. It's whatever. But the F8 I really liked. The Daytona SP3 really liked. Nice. Um, the endurance race car, beautiful. I forget, what's their Grand Tour? Or is that the Roma? I wasn't a fan of the 812. I liked the F12 actually. The 812 I wasn't a huge fan of. I forget if that's still the Grand Tour. A12 is still the Grand Tour. Bro, Pip never be like a cop. Yeah. I'm not I never liked the A12. It looked too much like the, the GTC for Luso, which I wasn't a fan of. And then like I don't know, it was like if you took the uh F12 and like it got stung by an insect, you know. We've been playing the same event for almost an hour, it's crazy. This game is gonna take a while to finish. I thought it'd be like, you know, a short game. But it's not a short game. But you know what? Fine. An 812XX. I don't know. I mean, we never got that with the uh, the F12. We got an F12 TDF, right? We'll get a we'll get a you know decked out version of the A12. I don't think it will be like the race car variant, like the 599 XX was. We had like the 599, and then the the GTO, and then the XX, and then the XX Evoluzione. For speed edition of the Porsche, Porsche Carrera GT. GT. Congratulations! You won the race! I don't think the, the 599XX is street legal either. Oh man. And then another knockout. This is dragging so much. Knockout. Tournament. Here's one three lap race. Cool. Another a lap knockout. I mean, okay, these are some shorter ones, but man. We're like halfway through the event set, but we still have a lot to go there. Switch to Hot Pursuit. Over here, we're a little bit more than halfway. So we got Time Trial. See, this is more my speed. Here's the Z8. Very blue. A BMW blue. There is an H12. Oh, yeah, there's an H12 Compete Zone. That's right. Bob City Island.
The Z8. It's a real boat car. I kind of liked it for like as a BMW. I thought it was a good looking car. It definitely does not give me the BMW aesthetic though. It does look boaty, but this is now like a sought after collector's car. It's expensive. Ooh, nice truck. Appreciate it. Deal with cops here too. That was top speed, 150 miles an hour. No, this is the whole six gear stuff. I wasn't gonna speak too soon, but I was thinking like, where are the cops at? Did I take out both the cops? Let's go. Just from hitting the wall too hard. Got a minute and 20 to get to the finish line. Wall riding was now uh, always going to be known as the NASCAR line. 46 County. I'm out of it. County you already took him out? Nice. Oh my god, traffic. 40 seconds. Finish line's like right there. We got it. Second penalty. GT7 moment. Oh man, I recorded a really good sport mode race with Gran Turismo 7. I have all the footage. I was gonna do a commentary video, but now it's been like a week. I'm still gonna do the video. My voice is all good. But uh, it was a good sport mode race, and I did not pick up a penalty. Alright. Invitational lap knockouts. Let's get these three events done. Viper and Corvette. Nice, let's go. I don't think we've driven the Corvette Z06. Let's do that. We've driven like the Pursuit one, I believe.
all wins. Oh, isn't this a long track? Three laps. Oh, well. It's fine. D8. See, this is what you think of when you get Corvette. No. This low profile, long boy. I would say big ass V8 in the front, but uh, they got rid of that with the, the C8. Now it's mid inch V8. But uh, at least the C8 is still like. It could pass as a Corvette. It looks to me more like a European sports car, like a McLaren or something, but. It's whatever. Now we're driving faster stuff. The internet back to garbage again. I'm just waiting for this to come back. Are we back? Wow, it just shot like 2,500 frames there. We went through the whole period, pretty much an hour, without having streaming issues. And then 11 a.m. hits and all of a sudden all hell breaks loose. So I found out that that's because a lot of people in my block are using the internet at the same time. I can't believe we live in 2022 and this is still a problem. And I live on a block with a bunch of old people, so I would have thought, perfect. That means there's barely anybody on the internet. But I guess I felt wrong. I don't know if I'm the person who consumes the most internet on my block. I figured I would be. But I don't know. Maybe they got uh, someone running a Minecraft server or something. Crypto ring. I don't know. Commencing traffic stop. Who's watching porn on my block? That's crazy.
I had... I don't know if you guys are even hearing this. Wow, it's just dropping frame after frame. I'll be right back. I'll be back, man. So, little mini story time. Someone from AT and T showed up at my house, like, "Hey," and they they told me, you know, my internet's clustered, right? But this is still a salesperson, so you know, they do their silly marketing stuff. But they're like, "Hey, we do Fiverr that's direct to your house," and they were like, "Oh, sign up today, we'll give you a free installation and stuff like that." And I still turned them down because I had really bad experiences with AT&T in the past. I copy 31. We have the roadblock in place. By Mirror Lake. County All Patrol, roadblock is in place. It's near Mirror Lake. Could, like, I don't know, upgrade our lines or not cluster it. Like, from my end, it's not much I can do. Because I pay for good internet, I should be able to use it. Um. without having to call them because calling customer service is literally hell. And I also feel bad for the rep because I'm sure they just hear nothing but complaints all day. But it is unacceptable. I pay for good women. And 
It's like, it's 2022, it's the modern era. You can't chip us out on poor quality connections. That sort of thing never happened when I lived with my parents. And, you know, I got families living in the same block as me that consume a lot of internet. Nice. Look at that.
Oh no. Bruh. Right by the finish line. Oh no, the Viper. No. What the fuck was that? I have to do that again? Bruh. What the fuck, man? I don't know who saw that, but bruh. I have to do that again. Come on. I had, like, nowhere to go. Damn. Right at the end. I led for, like, that entire race and then lost on one bus. Huracan Storado? I did not see that. And, of course, my arrow going out the second I start the next one. Man. What happened, bro? Look at this, I get a... I open up my Xfinity app and they're like... Our third party... Issue... Man. Fuck oh, count, yeah. There's no easy way to make a complaint. So like, without having to call them, I don't know how to uh, let them know my feelings. Cause all, if I just scream at a customer service rep, all it's gonna do is just make them hate me. And I'm gonna be on hold for like two hours just for them to tell you we're sorry, there's nothing we can do. Whoa. What? I got morphed in the rock, did you see that? Oh no, and I'm right by the finish line too. Shit, okay, we're gonna fail this the second time. Look at this, they're all aligned. Oh no, bro. Motherfucker. Alright, fuck it, I'm switching to the Viper. Yeah, I'm wondering if Sunday's going to be worse, though. While we're in the winter, I might have to make the switch. Or become a night streamer. I mean, I like streaming at night, but I'm also like more likely to be out doing stuff at night. So, like, it's not as reliable. You know, it's a Friday, Saturday night in your 20s, and you're, like, not going out. Like, 
I mean, yeah, right now I have COVID, so, you know, that's actually a good excuse to stream at night, but... Man. Two blue Corvettes. It's not even that this is a hard race, it's just stupid stuff that's getting me pulled over at the wrong time, right at the finish line. Just made it, man. Yeah, I missed the Dodge Viper too. Such a cool car. I also have always wanted one of these, but this is also like a death trap on wheels. Viper. 
Chill out, bro. Rotor 1 County, approaching the F curve. Both the Viper and the Vet got busted from that. What happened here? Look at this. We went flying and then we hit the rock here. This bomb's to right in front of me. <laughs> At least we made it across the finish line. We got a little wounded after all that. Ooh, Viper got stripped. So that was that's two tickets for the Viper now. Spikes didn't work. 27 county. Let's send another roadblock. Copy 27. I'm gonna take a long time to just like, try to shake off the top. If I could get arrested, that'd be great. I have a subject in sight. I'm near the moose box. I copy 46. 28 county. The spikes are on the run. They put a spike strip on this shortcut. Where is it? Dropping out. There's a gap on the left. I don't know. This is gonna be tricky. Rotor one counting. He missed the spike strip. 
Wow. I thought they wouldn't put spikes there. Three times? Yeah, he's been arrested. Look at that. We're done. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh, we are, uh, we just have to survive now. Look at this. Oh! Now watch me get busted three times in the last half of this lap. I missed that. I had to just hold my breath there. Alright, I think this is the first time we've been uh, let all alone in a race. In fact, I think it's the first time I've seen a car get arrested in this playthrough. That's cool. Finally. That took way too long. That was crazy. Great performance. You have just won the US Invitational Lap Knockout. Oh man. That was crazy. I'm actually gonna save the game just because of that. To event 21. Porsche Challenge Race. Porsche Career GT versus 911. And that's tempting which car to use, but I'm going to use the Career GT because, you know, it's a Career GT. It's a concept too. lap race. This car sounds very different. That's how it's supposed to. Copy 
31 County, commencing pursuit. Vehicle is a silver Porsche Carrera GT. County, all units. 31 in high this speed pursuit. Fast. Vehicle is a silver Porsche Carrera GT. 46 County, commencing pursuit. Vehicle is a red Porsche 911 Turbo. County, local patrol. 46 in high speed pursuit. Vehicle is a red Porsche 911 Turbo. 31 County, he just took out another car. 37, 31. Got you back. As the sergeant been advised. County patrol, supervisor on the air. Nine all units. What do we got here? 31 nine. Vehicle is a silver Porsche Carrera GT. He's not stopping. I'll be in pursuit. Roadblock was that. The suspect is blasted through the roadblock. 19-9. Let's set another roadblock. Copy 19. For those left in chats, someone had asked a while ago, like the last time I streamed, uh, what was going to be the next game, and I still have not thought of what I want to do next. I thought about like doing a shorter series. But so uh, I don't know. We have units blocking the road. County local patrol. Roadblock is in place. 19-9. The suspect has gone around the roadblock. I always like doing retro. Or we could do a non-racing game or something. Come on. Sonic Frontiers dropped to $35 in like two weeks. I don't think a Need for Speed game would do that, but you never know. What happened here? I don't think I got it twice, did I? Rotor 1 County, approaching the large bridge. 46-9, the suspect has made the roadblock. 46-9, let's try sending another roadblock. Copy, 46. Hey. 
D D D D D. Twenty-five Roman numerals. Is that a like an indie game or a flash game or something? Oh, well, that should be right into it. This wall is so weird. Back in gear. How did I miss that spike strip? We're 
rolling. Go to one county. He's really moving down there. Oh, come on. That traffic threw me off. 27-9. Roadblock set. County local patrols. Roadblock is in place. Damn. Both went through that traffic uh, gap. 27 9. Roadblock deployed. County local patrol. Roadblock is in play. 27 9. The suspect has blasted through the roadblock. 27 9. Let's set another roadblock. I copy 27. 19 County. I'm out of commission. 46 19. I'm off. 31 9. The roadblock is in place. County, all units. Roadblock is in place. 31-9. The suspect has blasted through the roadblock. 31-9. Let's try setting up another roadblock. I copy, 31. This car definitely does not sound like a pizza. I did the test drive on Limited. I know I did that stream where we played TDU for a very short time, but that is an option. That did cross my mind just now. It's a long game, but it's a fun one. It's a big nostalgic title. Yeah, I've built long cruise in the block here. You gotta make this pass right at the end of the race. Oh, that was that was close at the end. Not gonna lie, almost lost another 15 minutes. You've unlocked the Need for Speed Ooh, nice. edition of the McLaren F1. McLaren F1 Need for Speed Edition. Congratulations! You have just won the Porsche Challenge. Right, four race. million uh, points. You set a new record for this. Wow! All right, so I got time for one more event. But so that's a that's a good stopping point for pursuit. Got one, one more huge row, and then like these final three. This is like the supercar territory. I'll be right back. I don't know, we'll do maybe a single race or something.
So what's this multi-track knockout? Is this a five race tournament? Yeah, championship. Or wait, no. Six races, wow. We might just do this cruise race. I'm not feeling a six race tournament. There's a five and a six race. That is brutal. Absolutely brutal. the yeet. This is a long cut to be honest. Unless he also uses this. I feel like the road has better traction faster. It's like so major compared to the Hot Pursuit races, it's crazy. Nice. I think you only have to hit that four more times, three or four more times now. And then we're done point farming. So early into the game.
Yeah, the Courage GT is worth a ton of money. It's only appreciated in the years. It's uh, one of the most sought after cars ever. And every time you turn up at a car show, it always like, you know, gets a crowd. Myself included, so. I always get tons of pictures whenever I see one in real life. It's a beautiful car. Great opportunity. Oh! You hit the wing there. I think there's some collision at the top, so it's gonna become catastrophic. Oh, I missed the finish line. I wasn't expecting it. That's fine. Yeah, how can you not make the current Amazing car. Car values have been weird in the last few years because, like, pandemic collectors have, uh, you know, felt that, like, they can make more money on cars than on, like, stocks and crypto. Which sometimes it's true, but it defeats the purpose of, like, I don't know, having the car. Supposed to drive it, not sit on it. Until you end up with, like, a Ford GT with, like, five miles on it because someone buys it and then never ever drives it and it's like crazy. All for a few hundred thousand dollars extra. But if you buy a 4GT with like, you know, 50,000 miles or whatever, it's still going to be a few hundred thousand dollars. You know, with a brand new car, was it in storage properly? Because, like, if it wasn't driven, it wasn't broken into, and it's, like, 20 years old. Like, how old are all the fluids and stuff? Did it get oil changed? You know, that kind of stuff. Go, go, go. Bruh, I'm not losing this race. Oh my god! That was crazy. Wow, I just lost my voice for that. Congratulations. Look at that gap, 0 0.03, just barely. I was in like dominant control all the way up to the end there. Wow, that's crazy. You've beaten the lap record for this track. Did a little trolling with you guys there, too close. I don't know. Kinda wanna call it a day. It's done two hours. I don't wanna get too far out of uh, sequence. But these two championships are gonna suck. Again, another lap knockout. This is a single race. Okay, single. Who's calling me? Someone is calling my cell phone. I'm not going to answer that because I am streaming. From Illinois, but whatever.
I don't know if you can hear my phone buzzing. Alright, so I think I'm gonna be done for today. Put down the controller. Got a good session in today. Internet still had issues, but it wasn't like the worst. It was really during that one, those like two races where it was really bad. But, you know, it is what it is. I'll try to complain to Comcast and see if I can like get something from it. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Hopefully by next week I'll be like 100% better. I think I can handle this stream relatively okay though. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I had a good one, so. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay safe out there as always. Don't get COVID like I did. It sucks. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.